So it's a very, very diverse thing. There's so many different aspects of it. You can do it any way you like, whether it's just fun to play with them or it's fun to work on them as a hobby. Pretty awesome. A lot of stuff to see and a lot of kids out here, and that's good. Uh, about 10 layouts here for the kids to see, and some of the kids, uh, when they leave, they're screaming, and some of the adults, when they leave, they're screaming too, you know. He's nine now, and he was, we probably came when he was, the first time when he was one and a half, two years old, and it's always been a tradition for us. A fun event for all ages, one that highlights the true meaning of show and tell. He has a train set, and I grew up with trains, and. Well, this is based on the Thomas the Train series. And when the kids come up, you can always tell they know the green one is named Percy and they know the red, red one is named James. And it's interactive. They can push the buttons, they can control them, and they can turn them on. They can make them say all aboard. And the kids just enjoy that. And for some, they're leaving with a few fixes, courtesy of the experts. He worked on it. and. Didn't charge us nothing for it, and we're excited to get back to hook it back up and see how it runs. He run it on his track, and he fixed it. <laughs> well, everything there is built by volunteers, and all the money raised will go to local charities, and organizers say that it stays in Northwest Arkansas.